A marriage that lasts and glorifies God is a marriage of faith. A faith that you uh, have faith in God together. Let Him be the Lord of your life. Dear Ming Pei, first off, I want to let you know that I love you so much. I dream of this day since I was a little girl and now the day has finally come. I hope that the day will go smoothly and that we will be able to enjoy the day as much as we, as we can before it's over. I'm so happy to have found a soulmate who, can, who I can share my life with. I'm so happy you chose me and showed your love and commitment to me over the years. Marriage is a holy union between a man and a woman. It is the institution that was established, established by God, and it is bound by the love of two who join together. I remember there were a few times where I would really think about how it would be like when Elisa got married and moved out. And after thinking about it a few times, it really brought back memories. As some of you already know, me and Elisa could be considered as close siblings or even close friends. Since we're only two years apart and grew up together, we always stuck by each other and I always looked up to her in every situation I was in. Elisa has been my role model, my teacher, sometimes my rival, and also a close friend. Alicia, I give you this ring. Ming Bei, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And my faithfulness to you. And my faithfulness to you. I can't believe that today is finally here. Everything we talked about the last few years is about to come true. I can't wait to see you on our first look. I can only imagine how beautiful you look. Ever since the day I met you, you changed how I look and see things in life differently. You showed me that love is real and it takes up it takes up to two people to make marriage happen. The day you were born, you became daddy's little girl and have, has always been a princess to me. You were a gift from God. And I will always be grateful <clears throat> to have been given the honor of being your father. We've watched you grown from being a baby to becoming a beautiful young woman. And now you're getting married, beginning a new chapter in your life. As a dad, we all know that this time will come when our children are all grown up and ready to move on. And that's why sometimes we don't want them to grow up. We all are so happy for you, knowing that you have found a special person to spend the rest of your life with. So even though we don't see each other often anymore, I still view him as a brother, and he still views me as a brother as well. I'm glad he does. 
Whether you decide to hit another deer, go in the ditch, call me at three in the morning on a work day for me to pull you out, or if you want to get stranded in a lake, or drive the boat into a wooden post in the middle of a lake, you know I'm only one call away whenever you need help or anything. Same with you, Alicia. You fit almost everything I asked God for in my dream husband. <laughs> someone who's good with kids, someone who's funny, someone who's handy and can fix things, and someone who's compa compatible with me and shares the same life goals as me. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Mente, you may now kiss your bride.